Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Tuesday morning about 9.45 and I have been doing stuff around here, prolonging the inevitable, going out and getting some food. I'm gonna go get breakfast just because we don't have anything and I don't wanna wait until I go out to 15 different grocery stores and all that shit. Uh, not to mention, I didn't really eat dinner last night. I had that filling redone. <laughs> the dentist was like, uh, we had to, to take out a little bit more than anticipated. So yeah, you're going to be really sensitive to cooler things and your jaw's going to hurt for a few days. My old boss texted me last night when I was in the dentist chair and said that he's in town with my replacement, who I think is from Virginia Beach. Go figure. He wanted to know if I wanted to go to dinner. And I was like, dude, I literally just got out of the dentist chair. I can't feel half my head. So he said, all right, dude, I'll call you tomorrow. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I might meet up with them for dinner or maybe they'll be oot and a boot and I'll catch up with them. We shall see. But until then, I'll just be sitting here doing work. I hear the garbage truck coming, which means I'm going to be blocked in. And I haven't done my morning routine in here yet. So let's make some light. As you can see, we still have the Christmas tree up. Two reasons. One, we totally like the Christmas tree. My wife never wants to take them down. But two, the cat has gotten to a point of making that one of his spots. Yeah, he's puked like four times on the, the little Christmas tree, whatever the hell you call that thing. The little red and white thing that you put down there, the skirt. Is that what it's called, Christmas tree skirt? So that's going to have to be washed before we put it away. Okay, it sounds like the garbage men are done, so I'm going to get my shoes on and get the hell out of here because I'm really hungry. Let's do it. Yummy. Although they forgot my salsa. Eh. Okay, now the big exciting news. It's Tuesday morning. I just went and ordered my contacts on Saturday. They said five to seven business days. Called me while I was in there eating to tell me that they're already in. So we're heading to Pearl Vision now to go get my frickin' year supply of peepers, or peeper enhancers. I guess I'm not buying a year supply worth of eyeballs, but you know what I mean. Contacts gotten. Still can't believe they came in. I, I mean, even she was shocked. I'll take it. Now I can see for a year. Rock on. Let's go home and do work. Okay, kids. <sighs> what a day. After I had dinner with my former boss last night and the guy that's replacing me, came home, hung out, we had tea and cookies, everything was peachy, went to bed. About midnight, I jerked awake. And you know what I mean when I say I woke up, like, because I knew what was coming. I tried to convince myself that it wasn't coming, but it came, and I sprinted into the bathroom, and then I spent the next hour either having my issue or laying on the floor and moaning. So it was a shitty night. No pun intended. I realized how disgusting the bathroom floor was though. So today I washed everything in there, all the, all the little rugs and all that shit, and, and cleaned the floor thoroughly. Because the, there's nothing like laying on the bathroom floor moaning to make you realize that you need to clean your bathroom. Anyways, so that was last night. I got up today and I've been doing day job stuff all day. I haven't left this place. I'm just about to now so that I can say I left the place today. Whilst I was doing all this, I decided that I was going to pay all my bills for a change. So I started doing that. I paid all my bills. And then I thought, you know what? Let me go take a look at the Amex card, which is my company card. And I almost shit myself. Ooh, too soon. Anyways, I looked at it and I was like, holy crap, why the hell is it so much? And I started going through and I'm like, I should only owe like $1,600 and it was almost 4,000. And I'm like, oh my God, like what the frick? And then I saw a charge for $847. I've never spent, like what the, f I looked at it, it was a hotel in St. Louis. Then there was a $437 charge for a hotel in St. Louis. Then there was a $168 charge for a hotel in Illinois. And then, and then, and I'm like, oh my God, like my card was compromised. I can't pay that, you know, because even though it's a company card, it's on us. Like it, it ruins my credit if it doesn't get paid. So I'm freaking out. And I call my boss. I was like, dude, I have a huge fucking problem. And he's like, you know, what's up? And I said, I've got like thousands of dollars worth of worth of fraudulent charges on my credit card. I can't pay that. And he's like, oh, dude, no big deal. 
<laughs> like, oh, oh yeah, okay, I'll just shit that out. Got to get off the shit, huh? Anyways, uh, so long story short, I ended up going to the MX site and using their stuff to uh, claim fraudulent charges. And then he told me, you know, like he basically told me what to do. So I went through and I did as many as I could find. The Amex site was sucking hard today. And I would click on a transaction and it would just spin. It would take forever. And sometimes it wouldn't even come up. So I think I got them all. And I looked at the last one because there were a couple of times where I was like, that seems kind of high, but I wasn't paying attention. And I just paid the bill and whatever. So shame on me. Now I'm going to be looking every month. But anyway, so I put in the fraudulent charges and then I called the number and got to the fraud department and said, yeah, I had a number of fraudulent charges. I've already disputed them and I need to cancel the card and I need to get a new card ASAP. And they were like, eh, no problem. We'll make sure that gets taken off your account. I already put in for a new card. You'll have it by the end of next week. I'm like, oh, okay, great. I mean, that's simple. So that was good, but it's also bad because I'm not traveling on my own dime. And my boss wouldn't expect me to, so that means now I'm not going out next week either. So that changes the flow of how I was doing things. And now I have to do other shit before I do the shit that I would have done to get ready to go out again next week. <sighs> so I've got a lot to do and it's kind of overwhelming again. So despite the fact that I'm trying to catch up and get shit done, I keep having weird shit happen and I have to compensate for that. So. What am I doing? I'm leaving because I've had enough. I need to take a break today because that's important too. So we're going to go to UPS and um, see if there's any packages. There shouldn't be. It's been shit out yesterday, rainy, dark and dreary this morning. And all of a sudden the sun came out. And now we got that. And see the tree still lit up. And I also washed the pukey Christmas tree skirt because pukey cat puked all over it, but he loves being under there. So I actually washed it along with all the stuff in the bathroom. And uh, I set it out here and then I opened the door for him so he could get a sunspot and boom, he was right down there. Totally just enjoying the sun as I am too. So, all right, I'm going to get dressed. We're going to go to UPS and then come back and do a shit ton of day job stuff. Let's do it. It's 324 on Thursday afternoon. Is it Thursday? Okay, let's just say it's Thursday. It, it is uh, not nice out. <laughs> it, it's not raining at the moment, although that's been off and on. It's only 40 degrees. It's overcast and dreary. So yeah, it's sucked because I could tell last night when I went to bed that, you know, the heat just kept coming on and kept coming on and it got pretty chilly. It's going to be worse tomorrow and then even worse on Saturday. Although Saturday's supposed to be sunny, you know, we'll know when we get there. The bottom line is, is that we're hitting our cold period now. So it's going to be uh, in the teens tomorrow night, I think. Tonight or tomorrow night, whatever. It's going to suck. So yeah, not going to be doing an awful lot outside, although I have a ton of shit to do. Right now, I'm on my way to another one of my appointments. And I thought to myself, oh, I'm leaving too early and I was going to go to Walmart and buy socks before I went. And then I'm like, Holy shit, actually, you know, there's a lot of traffic out here right now. I should probably go now. So I'm going to get there with a reasonable amount of time to park and, and go in and do what I got to do. So, yeah, I got that. And then on the way home, I'll probably stop at Walmart and buy socks. I'm going to listen to my audiobook and go to this appointment. So, okay, that appointment is done. And now I scheduled phase two for next month. I should be good for any kind of medical bullshit for a while. I'm literally right down the street from Black Rifle Coffee too. It kind of makes me want to go there and get something, but I guess I just won't. All right, kids, it's Friday morning. No, wait a minute. Yep, it's still Friday morning. It's only 10 to noon and I don't particularly want to go outside. It's not nice out. So at least as far as temperature goes, wah. I have volunteered to transport a kitty cat to its vet appointment. Uh, well, I don't know if they expect me to have a carrier or not, so I don't want to show up without one. And uh, now I just have to remember where the hell I put it. <sighs> Found it buried underneath a bunch of other shit, but at least I found it. Helps to take the emergency brake off. This is Howard. Hello. 
Howard's not feeling well. He's sneezy and not good sneezy. So we're gonna take him to the vet so that they can make him all better. Okay, that was fun. Harvey, and I kept saying Howard for some reason, Harvey the kitty was wonderful. What a chill cat. He was definitely, once he, you, once you get to the vet, you know how it is, you go to the doctor and you're just kind of like, eh. Then after a while he opened up, he, they get this like little goop that's in a, in a little squeeze thingy and, and he started eating that and everything and he was perfectly fine. He just needed some antibiotics. And then when I brought him back, they're like, you can stay and hang out and pet whatever cats you want or whatever. And I mean, there's just a room of cats. So I spent a good bit of time and I lost all the freaking blood flow in my leg because I was squatted down. And I just sat there until cats came up to me. And then the first one came up to me and was just like, headbutt, headbutt, scratch me. Once he came up, then the other ones were like, well, hey, I'm getting in on this. So like several cats came up to me and I was like trying to pass around the love. And I just, I sat there. I was like, I'm not leaving until they stop. Eventually they stopped and they, they all went back and did their own cat thing. I think it was just because there was a couple of dogs out right outside the door and they were pretty excited. So that was fun though, kitty therapy. So now since I'm out and about and I, you know, whatever, it's 4.03 now, I'm gonna go into this Walmart and see if I can get some socks. Okay, kids, it's Saturday afternoon. It is incredibly sunny, but not particularly warm. I'm going to Pleasure House Point because I'm going to do some testing. And <laughs> we have Snug as a Bug, my queen. <laughs> she loves me. All nestled into her little notch there. She won't go outside with me. All right, we're going to go outside now. It's still, well, it's 31 degrees, so the temperature went up a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to go down to Famous Dave's here and, and get some hot dogs for lunch just because... That's what we feel like getting. Let's go get some lunch. Ooh, all right, kids. It's been a long, brutal week between all of the day job stuff that I had to do. So many forms and losing spreadsheets and phone calls and this, that, and the other things. All that coupled with my appointments and driving around and trying to get shit. Still haven't gotten honey. And trying to take breaks and enjoy myself all whilst it was pissing rain and the temperature just constantly dropping to the point where today it isn't as bad it's still in the 30s but well it's probably dropping now but in general just cold and blah yeah done with this week we did enjoy uh our famous uncle al's lunch and we'll be making meatloaf with all the fixings later on and then it's fen night and creature from the black lagoon is on so one of my favorites that's pretty much all i've got for you as if it isn't enough if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.